Hi everyone, welcome, Simon's Tales number 8. And I'm starting to make these videos together, you'll notice, same shirt, the last few, because I'm trying to get ready for the move to Thailand, so excuse me. We left it, Frozen had just been fired. Ah, Mr. Boss got his own mama son. Ah, sure enough. So we were, after all the things that had happened, sat in the bar, he's drinking again. I'm sticking on Coke and soft drinks and coffee. There is a coffee machine in this bar. Oh yes. Maybe nine o'clock, he makes some phone calls and along comes this woman. I'll call her a woman. She was about 45 years old. She was five foot two. Wasn't the best looking. Um, she looked like she'd been run over by a bus twice. <laughs> Wasn't good looking at all. Her dress sense, she was dressed like, mm, it's hard to describe. She was as if she was color blind and she thought she looked good. Let's just say short skirt. She, she, she wasn't slim, skinny. She was just a, a touch bigger built. But she had, if I remember, it was, it was a bright green skirt and a, a yellow or red top. It just didn't look right. And and yeah, she just looked like um, maybe a bar girl that was had been in the industry twenty years before. Anyway, in she walked, very sure of herself. Her English was reasonable so it was fair play for her for that her English was reasonable and we could communicate um, again I'm gonna call her grumpy because every time we spoke she was grumpy towards me she came in gave the mr. boss a cuddle which I found strange and they off to the corner again chatting away this was his new mama son this was the girl that was gonna take the bar back to how we got it a few days before how we were making 20 plus thousand baht a night this was the girl that was going to replace frozen and bring loads of new girls in and make a huge success of this bar they finished their chat now i forgot to mention in the meantime girls and customers had started coming back customers were coming into the bar and they were asking me what had happened and, and girls were coming in using the rooms so the flow was starting to come back so and it wouldn't be long before they told everyone and the rooms would be at full swing again yeah, full swing um, so yeah they that immediately picked up again but not as many customers but they were starting to come in you shut a bar and for a few days you lose customers you've got to build the confidence back up we didn't have a pool match for till the next week uh, snooker league so there was nothing to worry about this week. Boss talking in the corner with the new mama son, Grumpy. They finished talking to come across and he introduced Grumpy to me. And she was grumpy and she was quite rude and she was very cocky, very. Um, so I said, you know, I said hi and uh, okay. Are you you gonna bring some new girls and she's I haven't got any girls at the moment was a sort of answer but I'll get some leans over to the two because the two cashiers are there at the moment orders a was it a, a whiskey a, or she, she ordered a short anyway whiskey or something and the cashier went to write a bin out and she said oh no my drinks are free in type and then well, what and then Mr. Boss like yeah yeah drinks are free Oh, what's going on here okay and she starts knocking this back and it becomes very apparent very quickly that she likes drinking a lot and he likes drinking she went off and introduced herself to the girls and started bossing them about immediately and you could see their faces they like didn't like this woman and she ordered them up onto walking street and told them to get customers in and there was one girl in with the customer chatting and she interrupted her and said get out and get more customers that cheesed the customer off 
so immediately things were not going she, you know she was sticking her foot down and she was very rude the way she talked to the girls and I immediately knew this is not going to work out these girls will they'll bolt they'll leave they won't stay I thought oh no music system was running fine cashier was training the new cashier Mr Boss was drinking Grumpy was drinking oh it was very uncomfortable feeling in that bar now he again started talking to me about plans for the bar and I said to him there and then you know I'm not mad on your mama son what's that all about and he understood sort of and the cashier was leaning over talking to him everyone was trying to interpret to him I said I'm going to find you another manager quick and we'll train him I've got a guy I know he's like oh good 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 and I said I'm going to go off and find and have a chat <laughs> I was like I want to get out of here I said I'm not staying late tonight I've got to move to the new room oh yeah yeah okay I said in fact I'll probably see you tomorrow and I made excuses and I was out of there by 10 o'clock I'm gone I had a friend that uh, yep I had a friend um, a lad that was uh, I knew through the pool circuit and stuff that was looking wanted some money he was doing a bit of part time teaching but he was struggling um, I made a phone call and asked him could we meet up is he still out and about could we meet up have a chat and he agreed so that was great so I, up on second road I stopped off at a uh, cafe there and along he came good as gold told him the score told him this everything that had happened um, everything told him everything and I said I've got to get out of there we're going to sort a new bar out I said but I can't get on with this guy um, and this friend of mine his tie was a lot better than mine I said I can't get on with him he wants a manager we need a manager in there and the salary I'm guessing is going to be 20,000 baht you can have a room if you want and um, you do what you like with the bar I told him everything I leveled with him and he said okay well I'll maybe tomorrow then I'll come and meet the guy when you open and uh, I'll have a chat with you tomorrow and he said I'd love to have a go he gives me extra money he said so I'll give it a go I've nothing to lose you know if we don't get on I said at least I'll get a month's money out of it brilliant I thought that's it he's going to be my escape out of that bar so that was it arranged to meet him the next <clears throat> evening in the bar off I went back to my new room struggled to find it I couldn't find it <laughs> I remember driving around on the bike and I couldn't find it but eventually I found it and I had a key so in I went there was no one in the office I went up opened the door because I had a and all my stuff was on the bed there was a brand new quilt wrapped up and there was a microwave but it was all still in boxes <laughs> a microwave kettle it was everything there but I had no coffee no and I was drinking the three in one coffee the Nescafe um, which you just chuck in the cup and boiling water and there you are you're done but no coffee I'm like, oh. and I thought well I'll oh, forget it in the morning um, and I just threw everything on the floor and just shower hit the sack I just like oh, what a week next morning uh, I woke up early downstairs there's a woman in the office and I went in and said hi and introduced myself it was Sue's friend or partner and I said to her I want coffee and provisions where's the nearest shop 7-eleven or shop or you know, where is it pointed me literally just round the corner 100 meters away I hadn't seen it there was a 7 eleven. no it was a family mart I think just at the end of the road so I walked down got some provisions some beer and some drinks and things there was a fridge in the room yeah I forgot to mention there was a fridge back up and uh, unboxed the kettle and the microwave did the bed and everything got everything sorted actually even got me towels for the shower and stuff bless Sue fully kitted out brilliant so I sorted myself out got on the phones frozen told her what had happened frozen so I said come and have a look at the room you know what's happening come on down and then we'll go we'll go and see Sue 
So she came down, she found it, found it. I gave her rough directions. But she found it and came up and turned up about 45 minutes later. Yeah, great room, lovely. And uh, off we went. Jumped on the bikes. Down to see Sue. Must be about half 10, 11 in the morning. Free coffee. <laughs> Always get me free coffee at Sue's Soapy Massage. And look for Winky. Where's Winky? Hmm, <laughs> Winky. Ning, no sign of Ning, no news from Ning whatsoever. She's totally disappeared off with her boyfriend. Nothing. Never mind, she'll pop up at some point, I'm sure. And she does. Um, so, we sat down at the cashier bar thing. And the cashier was back from, my, from the other bar. She was back uh, there. So we sat and talked to Sue. I told Sue what had happened the night before. Told her I'd find another. Ma I found another manager and was meeting that evening. Going to introduce him, and she said, "Great, fantastic." She said, "Okay, but you're probably still going to have to work a couple of nights and teach him the ropes and see what and sort him out." I told Sue about this new mama son, and she said, "Yeah, I know the girl." I said she was drinking like a fish. She said, "Yeah," and I said to Sue at that point, I remember saying. Your husband's going to ruin that bar. It's not going to make money. And she's like, yeah. But he will stick at it for one or two months. And see what happens. I'm like, if we do another bar, I said, is he going to come after this bar as well? And she says, I don't know. I'm like, oh. Okay. Not good. She so says, I found a bar. Wow, hang on, wow, that's like less than 24 hours. She's found another bar already. She was amazing. She had so many contacts. She said then, well, it's not actually a bar, it's a house. Oh, here we go. She said, let's go and have a look at it. I've got the keys. <laughs> I mean, she really moved. She didn't hang about. So we're in Soy 4, Soapy Massage. This is all about me having been a bar manager in Thailand it's like a soap opera um, okay so we we said where is it she said soy seven all right she said uh, I'll I can't take the car because there's no park in there she said I'll meet you down she said go to the bottom of soy seven on the corner of Beach Road is a, a bar but they do coffee and stuff she said meet me there she goes, I've got some, a couple of things to do. 30 minutes. She said, I'll meet you there. Oh, okay. So me and Frozen. Off we went, jumped on the bikes. Along Beach Road, you can't go up Soy 7. We can see the bar there. And in Soy 7 is a load of parking. Bikes along the wall. Um, as you're looking up Soy 7 with the beach behind you. So we skipped in. You shouldn't really because it was one way down traffic. But we skipped in, parked the bikes. When it's sat in the bar on a corner, ordered some coffees or cokes or whatever, and we waited and we chatted about, you know, wow, Sue's got somewhere so quick, but a house in Soy 7? That was sort of, hmm, okay. 30, 40 minutes later, Sue turned up. Um, don't know whether she'd walked, but she appeared from around the corner. She came in and uh, Another woman, she got on the phone, and another woman turned up, an older woman, and joined us at the table. Sue, so frozen, this woman, just talking tight, blah, 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 blah. Sue so got a drink, this other woman had got a drink. I didn't know what was going on. Everyone was smiling and happy. The woman gives Sue some keys. Um, out came some paperwork. That looked like a contract. Sue was signing it handed the woman back and kept some of the paper and then this other one walked off so then Frozen then started explaining Sue's just done a deal and Sue was talking as well this was a friend of, the, of hers Sue had just signed a um, three year lease with this woman and Sue could do anything to the property and uh, there was obviously must have been money changed hands they'd done a deal on whether it was rent or sue i don't know 
I never knew, but it was a lease for three years at that moment in time, I knew. How much, all the rest, I don't know, never knew. So, paperwork all signed, keys, Sue said, let's go and look at the property. So, Sue paid the bill for us, our drinks, free drinks again. We walked up literally 50 meters. So, beach end of Soy 7, come up Soy 7, 50 meters. Now, for those of you wondering, the bar we had there eventually and got all running was, we called it Soy 7 Fun Bar. Soy BJ Fun Bar was the first one. Soy 7 Fun Bar, sports bar. Now, to this day, in 2018, I believe it's called Mods and Rockers. Um, and I think it's for sale, because I, I saw one of the websites up for grabs. Whether it's still for sale, I don't know. And the bar's different as it, now than it was when I was there. So we, 50 metres up the road, on the right, there's a little go-go bar there, then there's a couple of other little buildings. No, go-go bar, one building, then this bar. And at that point, it was a front garden, and a house, three or four storey house with a bit of a front garden and um, there was a, to the right was a concrete part, was a, an office or something or whatever, out building and there was like a deck on top. So it was a bit of a garden and it was a house. So I stood there with Frozen and so and I'm looking at a house, Soy 7, uh, it's all bars but this was a house down the bottom, like a terrace house and I'm like whoa how can that be a bar, <laughs> a house in Soy 7, so this was what 2001, it was a house in Soy 7, yeah it was. I'm going to have to leave it there, we've shot over time again. I'll catch you on the next one. I hope you're enjoying the tale. See you soon.